Welcome to Golden Ridge Reserve, a little slice of heaven jam-packed with natural wonder and some fantastic fishing. First time out, you'll find yourself in Diamond Peak Outpost, right in the heart of the reserve. Here you can find all sorts of things of interest. You'll definitely want to pay a visit to Sophia at Taylor's Tackle Shop and say hi to Clayton, the reserve's warden. They have lots of useful tips to help get you started. Sooner or later, you're going to want to upgrade your gear, buy some new duds, and maybe even pimp your ride. Sophia will be happy to help. She stocks a fantastic range of fishing gear from rods to reels and from bait to line. Whatever your personal idea of outdoor style is, Taylor's Tackle stocks it all. Mix and match shoes, gloves, hats, glasses, tops, and trousers to find your unique look. Now that we've got you looking your best, you're going to want to get out there and explore this majestic reserve. If you want to discover the park by foot, be our guest. Roam wherever you want. To reach those faraway places in style and comfort, you can pick up a 4x4 at any of the outposts and trailheads. To head out to deeper water, or to get around the interconnected waterways, you can grab a boat from many of the jetties. You'll find our vehicles easy enough to handle, and you can even take three friends with you, which may come in handy, since at any one time you'll likely be sharing the reserve with up to 11 others. If your fishing buddies aren't online, we can automatically match you with other avid anglers. If solitude is your idea of bliss, then our single-player offline mode is for you. The fishing experience in Golden Ridge Reserve is as authentic as it is immersive. The fish spawn according to a sophisticated ecosystem that factors in water temperature, depth, time of day, and altitude. Just like fish in the real world, each species has its own preferences when it comes to bait and lures. But gear alone won't help you break any records. You're going to have to have your wits about you if you're going to bag a whopper. You'll want to pick the right place at the right time, day or night, to put that tackle to work. If you're looking for a little more guidance on how to best approach the different fish species, there are some great guides to be found on the information boards at the Central Outpost. Smallmouth bass, for example, like the shallower waters and respond well to a spinning rig equipped with a frog-like lure. Pike are voracious hunters and use vegetation to ambush their prey. You can find them in clear lakes and small to large rivers. The biggest fish, like the mighty lake trout, well, they tend to be in the deepest waters. Casting is an art in itself. A short cast can be achieved with a simple click. Casting further afield requires a little more skill. Float fishing is all about picking the right location and getting your gear set up just right. Pick your bait, set the float depth, cast, and wait for the payoff. Successful spinning is all about how you reel that lure in. You're going to want to experiment with different speeds and techniques, from stop and go to jigging and twitching. Don't forget to pay attention to both the depth of the water and how deep your lure is. When a fish is about to take the bait, you'll know about it. But a good strike is all about timing. Too early or too late and you miss out. Even with a live fish on your line, the game is far from over. To bring home more than tales of the one that got away, you're going to need skill and patience. Managing the line tension is key, and techniques like pumping will help you tire out your catch so you can reel them in. Once you've cut your teeth on the small fry and upgraded your gear, it's time to head on out into the unknown to look for that next big catch. You better watch out, though. There's some magic in these waters. And if you aren't careful, you might just be the one that gets hooked. Now, let's go fishing. <laughs>